Hello guys, welcome back to the Quantity Solving Workshop and to another video. In today's video, we're going to be treating how to build up um, rates for um, different excavations. So the first example we're going to be doing is how to build up the unit rates for excavation of topsoil. So the first thing you're going to be doing now is to bring out, to extract your description from your taking of so now we'll just imagine that this is what we describe in our taking off sheet. Excavate to remove topsoil heavy depth 150 mm deep and remove excavated material 200 mm from what excavation. So now the first thing you're going to be asking yourself is you have to know how long it takes one person to excavate one meter cube of this topsoil having in mind that the unit for measuring topsoil is in what meter square don't forget the unit of measuring topsoil as stated in our bsmm is in what meter square so the first thing you're going to be now asking yourself is how long does it take for one person to excavate one meter square of this topsoil and um, from my source we can see that um, to excavate one meter cube of this topsoil will take two hours per man. So now, if you to take two hours per man, put that piece of information on one side. So you now ask yourself, after excavating this top, this one meter cube topsoil, what next? They say that in your bill of court, in your um, Taking off extracts in your description extract, they say what remove excavated material 200 mm, 200 meters from what excavation. So, what I can deduce from this description is that after digging, we are going to be what taking or disposing this excavated material 200 meters away from let's say the excavated area. So, after disposing this topsoil away 200 meters away from the excavated area we are not just going to be dumping it like that we have to spread um to spread the what they call it the excavated material the excavated topsoil so now all these operations that i've just talked i've just spoken about now we have to know how long it takes to execute one meter cube of um, to execute this operation for one meter cube of this topsoil and now we've talked about three operations the first one now is the main excavation the second one is to use um, a wheelbarrow to carry this excavated material 200 meters away from the excavated site and the third operation now is towards spread this excavated materials so we deduce that the um, time it takes to excavate one meter cube of um, topsoil is going to be worth two hours. The time to um, take wheelbarrow to take this excavated um, material that's to um, load this wheelbarrow with the excavated material at least one meter cube and take it to the uh, point of disposal that's 200 meters away from the site and then return let's just assume that it will take also two hours then the time to spread and level the excavated material let's just say 0 0.5 hours so now we've gotten our um, labor constants for this operation so we can now say solution The first operation is what to excavate the topsoil. And we said that it will take what two hours per meter cube. Then for the second one, which is to use a wheelbarrow, wheel deposit and return. Two 
so this is the time that they will load the wheelbarrow take the wheelbarrow 200 meters away dispose it and then come back to continue the operation so we are assuming two hours per meter cube then the last operation now is to what spread and level so we are assuming that it's going to take 0 0.5 hours per meter cube so now after getting your labor constant you now have to find the summation of everything so the summation of all this is going to be what 2 plus 2 4 that's 4.5 hours per meter cube so since we've gotten the summation of our labor constants we will now ask we will now go and pick up the values that we've already calculated for our skilled and unskilled labor costs I'm going to be putting the link for that video just at the side of the screen. So if you've not watched that particular video, please, I would advise that you do. So since we've already calculated um, our costs, our labor cost for skilled and unskilled labor, we're just going to be bringing it out. So we said that you will now ask yourself, this, this uh, particular operation now, will it require a skilled laborer or an unskilled laborer? So you can see in the bill of quantity extra that is in the description, they did not mention anything about using plants, using any excavator or any heavy equipment, which would require an operator. So this is just manual digging, meaning that we're going to be using the price for unskilled labor. So it means that the people that the laborers are going to be employing to do this work are unskilled laborers. So we've already calculated that the cost um, for unskilled labor per meter cube is 219.94 per hour so you're not saying if the cost per meter cube is at 219.94 is 219.94 we will now say what will be the cost for 4.5 hours don't forget this is per hour so if the cost per meter cube is at 219.94 naira per hour then we now have to find what will be the cost for what all the operation that we're going to be doing per meter cube to to um to carry out this work so which is 4.5 times what the cost per hour so we will now see the cost for 4.5 hours will now be equal to what 4.5 multiplied by what 219.94 and that will give me 989.73 so now it means that for 4.5 hours we are going to be paying them 989.73 per watt meter cube so for one meter cube the total of what we're going to be paying is what now the 89.73 naira so after doing this you will now add your profits and overhead so you know what the profit you know what how many percent profit and overhead you are going to be using depending on the, the particular firm that you are so for this video we're going to be using 25 percent profit and overhead so if you don't know what overhead is overhead is like additional costs incurred on this op additional costs that is not directly 
traced into this um, this operation, but is also required to ensure that this operation is done. So that is what overhead is. You can look it up in other sources to actually get more idea on what overhead is. But just know that you have to add your profit and then your overhead. If not, you are going to be running at a loss. That means you are doing this particular work for what free. So you have to add your what profit and what overhead. So we're not going to be adding what profits and overhead. 25%. So 25% of this price. Please don't forget, you have to follow me as I move. So after we've gotten the cost for 4.5 hours, which we had as this, we will now get 25% of this particular price to know what is our profit and what overhead. So 25% of 989.73 is equals to what? 247.43. So now, since we've gotten the profits and overhead as this, we will now be adding this to this. So we're going to be adding our total sums and our what profit and overhead. So when we add the two together, we we'll now have 1,237.16. This is per meter cube. So, say if we've gotten this as our cost per meter cube, you know that the unit for measuring topsoil is in what meter square. You now have to convert this cost per meter cube to cost per meter what square. And how do we do that? By multiplying this value with another value. Now let me just do a little of a little mathematics here. So now we know that the unit here is what cost per meter cube, right? And in indices, this can also be said to be um this can also be said to be cost divided by meter cube minus three right so now if we want to make this thing cost per meter square what are we going to be doing we're going to be multiplying this by another what meter and what is this meter this variable here is the variable of the depth or the thickness of the what topsoil and you know that the thickness of our topsoil is what 0 0.15 meter so now if i continue this mathematics now we will now have cost divided by what meter minus three times what meter plus what one so if i continue cost will now be this divided by what meter minus three plus what one so therefore we can now say cost will now be cost to what meter minus three plus one and which is what cost divided by what minus three plus one is equal to what minus what two so this will not be what cost minus two so you know that when you do the inverse when you do the inverse this is what you have so our distance is cost per what meter square I just hope I've not confused you. So, the end point of everything I've just done here is this. After you've gotten your cost per meter cube, the unit for topsoil is in meter square. So, all you just have to do is multiply this by what the thickness of your what topsoil, which is what 0 0.15 meters. So, I want to say if cost per meter cube is what this 
1,237.16 but we now see therefore cost to excavate 150 mm thick topsoil and now they cost to what? 150 converted to meters so that all the units will be uniform then multiplied by what your cost per meter cube which you've gotten as 1237.16 and what do we have? we're going to be having 100 and what? 85 point what? 57 so this is what we're going to be having per meter square so this will be the cost per meter square to excavate your what topsoil per man so doing this you've built up your reeds to excavate your topsoil for one meter cube per man so we've come to the end of today's video guys i hope you derived adequate knowledge from this um, please if you did do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel because it helps the channel grow. Thank you and we will see you in our next video.